Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to delete duplicate rows of data in SQL. So currently, as you see in my employee table, we have duplicate data. We have three rows of data uh, for Abhishek, that is employer ID one, and only one row of data for employee two, that is Ajay. So now what we want in result is that our table employee has just two rows now one for Abhishek and one for Ajay. So before we move to the query, let's understand the logic we will use behind this. So I have written the same table in Excel so that it is easier to understand. So what will be our logic? Our logic will be to number these rows. So let's say I will create a column row number and now I'll start numbering the rows. So whenever the occurrence of my ID is for the first time, I will row number it as one. Whenever it occurs second time, I'll say two. Whenever it occurs third time, I'll say three. Now, when it comes to the fourth row, it sees that it is a new row, which was not repeated earlier. So I'll say it as one. So these are the row numbers for each row. Now the logic will be whenever the row number is more than one, two, three, or any number greater than one, then delete that row. If the row number is one, then keep it as it is in the table. So that is the logic. So in our case, these two rows will be deleted because their row number will be greater than one. And the row number two and row number five will be kept as it is in the table because the row number is one. Now let's see how to do this in SQL. So I'll say, I will select new query. Now, what we do is we will use CT in SQL. The so use of CTE that is common table expression is to create temporary result sets. So for example, in our this table, I want some temporary column. My temporary column is row number, which I don't want to be added to my table, but I just want it for temporary basis. So I can use CTE. So that will be temporary result set. And so whenever I'll close this CTE, that row number will be automatically removed. It will not be added. And by using CT, I can do my calculation. I make I can make changes to the table. And once I've made changes to the table, I can just execute my original table. So let's start with that. So the CT starts with with. With is a keyword. Okay. Now I'm creating a CTE for employee. So let's say employee CTE as braces open select star comma then i say row number row number is a built-in function and row number always needs a over keyword with it row number over order by employ id as row number from employ okay Select star from employee CTE. Okay. Now what we are doing is we have created a CTE first and then we are executing that CTE to view the result. What I've done is first I've selected all rows, all data, all columns from the employee table. And with that, I've added a 
column named as row number so the name of the column is row number let's just change this because it is taking it as a keyword so let's say row number okay now this is a column so row number is the column name and what does that column contain that contains row number which is a built-in function okay now as you see that we have got the numbering one two three four but we don't want one two three four we want one two three and then again one for a j now the reason it did not work is because we are missing out a part of this statement so let me write that first so what we have to do is we have to create partitions first so for that we have a keyword partition by now what to partition by employ id okay now do we understand what we did was first what we we were doing was we were just ordering it by employ id but we were not partitioning it so now we are saying we are creating partitions based on employ id so everything within that partition will get one two three now when we see a new employ id that is two then a new partition will be created then again it will order it by employer id that is one two three now let's execute this now 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 do we see the correct result yes we do see the correct result so everything was partition based on employer id so for the first three we created one partition and then we number it as one two three then when we saw two we create the second partition and it got the row number as one now let's test what happens if we remove order by. Now you see it doesn't execute. What does it say? The function row number must have an over clause with e order by. So now you understand why we wrote over and order by because it is extremely important to have over and order by whenever we are using the row number clause. So it's again type it out as order by employ id okay now let's execute okay now this is the result we wanted the employ ids by their partitions now the next step is to delete two and three these two we want to delete these two rows so as we discussed earlier, what we what is our condition? Our condition is wherever our row number is greater than one, then delete it. So that is something we will write over here. So that is delete from employee where the row number. Sorry, not from employee employee CTE because we are working within the employee CTE where row number is what it is greater than one so we delete that let's execute okay it says two rows effective now let's even view the results let's say select star from employee i'll select this part and click execute yeah so now we have just two rows of data that is the unique rows of data and all the duplicates are removed so this is how we remove duplicates from sql let me know in the comment section if you have any more doubts on this topic or any other topic i'm always ready to help you out on any of these topics Till then, please go share my video and also subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.